like I was the first one to work today. Uh, I already went to the shop and Oh, back. man. Guess what we're doing this morning? Gonna egg somebody? Or eat, something like that. We're gonna cook with the quad track. We're gonna bury them a little bit underneath the ground with like 1,100 or 1,200 bushels on that grain cart. We're gonna see if these eggs crack and demonstrate how impressive a track tractor, especially a track grain cart, can be in saving compaction. That'll be impressive. Yeah. Well, I haven't had breakfast yet. I hope you don't break them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so welcome back, guys. We are actually going to be doing a little bit of uh, on-farm experience, experience, ex experiment. experiment. There we go, thank you. I need an egg. <laughs> We're helping the poultry industry today. We are going to be trying to scramble an egg with a 53,000 pound tractor. That is what we were doing. Poultry, eat your egg. <laughs> Maybe showcase what running a track grain cart paired with a track tractor can do uh, to save compaction. Plan is, is to bury a couple of eggs, drive the tractor across them, and see if they crack or if the weight is dispersed evenly evenly gently whatever terminology you actually want to use across the ground cause less compaction and to not even crack an egg oh geez <laughs> hopefully this egg's not like a hard-boiled egg i don't know if is it a hard-boiled egg andrew nope not hard-boiled i was gonna do something like all cinematic you know like <laughs> yo hogan uh, so I guess why you would do something like this is you got to talk about uh, a force that you apply to the ground. So that's really measured in like pounds per square inch, which you take the weight of something and then you disperse it across its surface area. So for instance, um, so for instance, right now I have my weight dispersed across two feet. So I'm applying X amount of force. Two feet. Two feet. My, my two, feet. two feet. My two feet. What? Yeah. I thought you were like two feet wide. No, no, like my two feet. Okay. So, so for in layman's terms, like right now, I'm applying more force to this area than if I do this, if that makes sense. So that's why if you take something that's heavy, spread it out across a bigger area, you can actually apply less force per square inch than something that's big with a lot of surface area. So. What we're gonna do is actually the math real quick. We're actually gonna find out how many pounds per square inch we're applying with the quad track and the grain cart with, uh, it's probably got 1200 bushels on it or so like that. We'll, we'll do the math, but we'll measure measure real quick. <laughs> if I had a dozen eggs, I'd try and like smash another, <laughs> smash another one. 30 inch belts here. Yeah, 30 inch belts. I wanna hold that in here. About the center of that idler is where it's touching the ground. We'll say 80 inches. 80 inches. So 30 by 80. That's 240 inches. And then I think these are 36 inch belts. These are 36 inch belts. We have, we'll say 10 feet. We'll be a little, a little. Generous. Got it. Let me go grab my phone real quick. Oh, we better. So we have 67,360 pounds on. Perfect semi-load. <laughs> <laughs> Legal limit. So for surface area, power, uh, we have 30 by 80. We have 30 by 80. It's 240. It's 2,400. That's what I meant, what's a zero? Times four. Is this, uh, the quad track has 9,600 square inches approximately on the ground it was 36 by 120 120 you want, you want to quick math that one no no nope, nope. I, I can't do that one <laughs> four three two zero um times two is eight six four zero so our total a little advertisement for montezuma 240 so we have 18,240 square inches on the ground. Uh, I think a square foot has 144 yep. inches in it, divided by 144, um, 126.6 feet squared, if somebody wanted to know that for some reason. Okay, <laughs> the weight wise. Okay, so for weight, the tractor weighs 53,000 pounds approximately. Depending on how much fuel and stuff's in there, there's probably, there's half a tank of diesel in there. Yep. 
so and i think that holds like 300 gallons worth of diesel uh, the cart apparently weighs, from what I was told, about 18,000 pounds. And what did we just say? It had 60... 67,000. 60, something. 67,000. I would just approximate it, but somebody's going to call us out. They say, oh, the egg will crack if you have 67,400. 400 for the grain that's on it. Right now we're weighing 138,000. 400 pounds and uh we divide that divided by 18,240 18,240 so right now we're rocking 7.58 psi pounds per, per square inch if uh anybody wants the metric of that go right at it <laughs> yeah, there's the numbers <laughs> Andrew you're getting a phone call enter your phone it I'm might trying. be important enter your phone oh, it actually is should be. He just didn't You're me. saying a call from my dad was important. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah, saying? He's the one who writes signs the checks. Yeah, it's important. Okay, and since everybody knows exactly what 7.58 pounds per square inch looks like, let's do a little um, comparison. Let's see how many pounds per square inch I, as a 300 pound, two foot or two foot, six foot two male, puts on the ground. So, my boot. 14 inches long. Andrew, how wide is that? <laughs> Four and a three quarter right there. Four and three quarter. 14 is 66.5. 66.5 divided by 133 is I put 2.25 PSI on the ground. Would you crack an egg? <laughs> I don't think I cracked the egg. Man, I could probably lose a couple PSI on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it put that How many before. pounds did you lose? Oh, I lost about <laughs> .3 PSI. <laughs> That'd be a pretty drastic yeah. drop. Okay, so experiment time. The plan is we're going to leave one egg on the ground just to crack it, just for fun. No, we don't need to do that. Do we really need to do that? It will crack the egg if it's on top of the ground. So we're going to bury one egg at two inches, one at four, one at six, and one at eight, and uh, see if they crack or not when we take that rig across the ground. Woo! So two inches of top cover, not two inches of like... To the bottom. Yeah. I never envisioned this morning when I woke up. What am I doing today? <laughs> Digging a hole and burying an egg. Never crossed How do you think mind. chickens are growing? What came <laughs> first, the chicken or the egg? Depends on who dug the hole. How wide is an egg? Should we should we figure out the pounds per square inch of the <laughs> egg? I think we gotta set it up like that, don't you? you what do you think? Well, I don't know. I think. I think uh, it's an, an egg's an egg. Approximately two inches, so my hole's gotta be about four inches. four inches deep. That is pretty good scientific stuff right there. Hey, do we get a grant for this? Let's 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 go even a little less drastic because if it doesn't break this, let's go an inch deep. Gotta be careful when we like uncover it. Not to break it when we uncover it. When we uncover it. Does this make us scientists? Technically, yes. This is a scientific. Well, we know <laughs> it's not a scientific experiment because we have not stated our hypothesis yet. <laughs> So, oh. uh, I'm going to say that one breaks. I'm going to say that one breaks. So now it's a scientific experiment. Okay. We need it. It's marked. We're going to lay a corn stalk on it. <laughs> okay. Anybody see a problem with that? <laughs> you want to go two inches or four inches? Four, so we're pretty good. You need good a there. six inch hole. Six inch hole. This one's two. I'm going two here. Step it by it. Good luck. <laughs> Bandage like, what are you doing? So is Molly gonna come home tonight and want eggs? And they're uh, not gonna... <laughs> there's another. Oh. There's another half dozen eggs in the fridge. Yeah. So Wayne, and Wayne's the one that don't have any eggs in. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to drive the cord in this morning. <laughs> you laugh about that. You were gonna get breakfast pizza, but we had eggs, so you didn't get any breakfast pizza. Uh, yep. So for the non-farmers watching this right now, 
We are not showing you how to grow eggplants. <laughs> And why compaction's an issue, or people, got farmers talk about it is, is because basically it impedes root growth by running heavy equipment across the ground multiple times. And if you impede root growth, you and it basically have a yield drag on your compacted area. So if you can decrease your compaction, you should have better yields. That's why farmers talk about compaction. And that's why these tracks on tracks seems like a really good idea. Corn dog. So the Kinsey 1421 grain cart, which if you guys are first time here to the channel, uh, we are actually, this is CTU unit. So this is a 2022 model. So it's got upgrades and enhancements that aren't actually out on the market yet. There's, if you want to see one of these carts, you got to watch this channel basically. But Kenzie wanted to share it with you guys this year. The model number is the 14, which means it's a 1400 bushel cart. So we can hold 1400 bushels. We're going to go do the math, see how much is actually on there. The two means dual auger. There's a horizontal auger here. And then there's the auger that actually transfers it to the trucks or whatever you're putting it in. And then the one is the series number. Right now, there is not 1400 bushels of grain on there, uh, but there's well over a thousand. So there is way as legal semi load on there. 67,400 divided by 56. There's 1,203 bushels on that grain cart right now. Let's see if we can crack an egg. Well, I don't hear any scrambling, Andrew, so I'd say we got a slight chance. But in true YouTube dramatic fashion, I think we got to start with the deep one. Oh, yeah, I would say so. But it could also be a complete failure if it... I'm going to have to dig up the others. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Come on, Andrew. Suckers down there, right there. Eight inches? Man. <laughs> Uncracked. <laughs> I was thinking about scrambling it. You did. So that was six inches deep? Yep. We're good. Oh. Should I try and crack it with my hand again? <laughs> or I could if you can't. No, I could. <laughs> oh, she whiz. <laughs> Got it. So this one's at two inches. By golly. Look at that, Andrew. Two inches. That's an uncracked egg. I'm not going to squeeze this one. <laughs> break it with the shovel if you want to break it. <laughs> so this is one inch. There's a hole at it. Right there. Look at that. One inch. Didn't even crack the egg. Didn't even crack the egg. And there are some tough chickens. Yeah, no doubt. Let's uh let's do one more little experiment. Do another loop. I will put this one. Ground level. Ground level. Still
still exposed. Make sure there's not a hard corn stalk in there. <laughs> that sucker's gonna crack. That egg's done for. I'd say that one's done for too. It's oozing. It cracked. But it didn't crack an egg at one inch of ground cover. That's impressive. Well guys, among other advantages of having tracks on your grain cart, hopefully that demonstrated that visually to you guys, how a big heavy rig like that can cause less compaction with tracks on it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the way out. It's time for me to actually get to work. So we'll see you in the next one. You ready for your scientific hypothesis? Okay, okay. So we buried eggs this morning. One at one inch deep, like one inch of cover. One at two inches of cover. One at four inches of cover. And one at six inches of cover. What eggs do you think cracked? One, two. You think those cracked? Yeah. None of them cracked. None of them cracked. And then I buried one just with a little bit of dirt over the top of it, it cracked. And then the one that I just set on the ground, it, it cracked also. But one inch of topsoil, it didn't crack the egg with that rig. And did the math, 1,200 bushels on, tractor, grain cart, it was 5.6 or something like that PSI. No, maybe more than that. I don't know. I got the math over there. <laughs>